Today, the U.S. Congress Joint Economic Committee is holding a hearing to discuss new evidence on the gender pay gap. Joining us now live from Capitol Hill is Diana Furch Gottroth, Senior Fellow and Director of the Center for Employment Policy at the Hudson Institute, also one of the participants in to, at uh, today's hearing. Good morning to you, Diana. Good morning. It's great to be with you. I'm, I'm so happy um, that you are because we hear a lot of talk about this gender pay gap and we think in 2010 could this really still be happening. It's the smallest um, now on record but it still exists right well no I think when you account for age experience time in the workforce the gender gap between men and women basically disappears and I've written a small book about it called how Obama's gender policies undermine America which explains the myth of the pay gap how men women really do not make 77 cents on a man's dollar that's only when you average all women and all men but if you compare two cashiers in a bank two supermarket checkout people if you compare two lawyers in a law firm men and women make about the same because it's illegal to pay them differently now but the labor department numbers differ a bit with that uh... would you agree with that as far as forty hours a week in the same job men and women Well. Uh, if you look at 40 hours, well, the average is 77. They say 40 hours is 86. They say if you look at single women without children and men without children, it's 95. But all those average over different occupations. So you're pushing in doctors and nurses. You're mixing up administrative assistants with drillers on oil rigs. So what you've got to do is compare a male oil driller with a female oil driller or a male banker with a female banker, then that's an appropriate comparison. When you do that, you find that men and women make about the same, maybe 95 cents on the dollar. So you're saying it's only about five cents if it's the same exact job. Exactly. Just, okay. With, uh, with the same exact experience. Okay. And, and, and otherwise women are allowed to sue. Uh, they do sue. Sometimes they win. Sometimes they don't win. I mean, it's uh, not an easy issue, but women definitely are not paid 77 cents on a man's dollar. Let's talk about some of the factors that come into place in your editorial uh, to the uh, the Washington Post. You talk about things like uh, women taking time off uh, for maternity leave and also opting for less hours because of family. Do mothers who happen to be managers, is there, uh, is there a penalty for being a, a woman manager with a family? Well, there's a study by University of Chicago professor Marianne Bertrand. She says that CEOs and women in upper management get paid the same if they work the same hours. Of course, if you're a manager and you want a more flexible schedule, say you want a job where you can be home for dinner with your kids, and some mothers want to do that, uh, and you're competing against a man who wants to work longer hours, then yes, you're likely to get paid less. But it's a matter of time in the workforce as you put into the job. And of course, if you st start taking time off, say you want a flexible schedule at one point in your life, it's unfortunate that you might uh, fall behind, say, a comparable man in your earnings, and you might actually not catch up for a while. So that's why you see this discrepancy. If you have one group of people that's in and out of the workforce and another that is working longer, then that's where a lot of the discrepancy arises. Let me ask you this, are, in your opinion, are there gender pay gaps uh, in some industries over other industries? Because I, I must tell you that uh, the, the uh, perception out there and some of the evidence that we have seen from government reports, not just the Obama administration, say that there is still that gender gap. So will you say that in some different occupations it still exists? Well, uh, no, I don't. And there's the CONSAD report uh, put out in 2009. There's many studies that say it's around 95 cents on the dollar. And when I testify this morning, I can assure you that the male and the female congressmen are going to be paid the same. Okay. Diana Furch got Roth, Director of the Center for Employment Policy with the Hudson Institute. Thanks for being with us this morning. It's great to be with you. Thank you for having me on.